Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're gonna take a look at this one. It's a Voodoo setup box, Voodoo BX100. As you can see, it's quite interesting. It has so many ports according to today's standard. You cannot see so many ports on other systems uh, those days. Mostly it's just the USB and HDMI and uh, maybe USB sometimes. But here we have so many analog outputs over here. Also we have Ethernet here. We have a HDMI of course this is good and we have analog video out switch between 480i and 480p so you can just switch between those and of course the power plug right here and it's interesting though this thing was not used a lot this is like a very like in a good shape and I'm just gonna test it out the thing is interesting about those first generation setup boxes is that those were very bulky I mean it's heavy it's made of metal and it has a hard drive inside 250 gigs hard drive drive inside can you imagine that in those modern times and also this thing over there this is not a Wi-Fi this is actually a for the receiver for the remote so it's not actually Wi-Fi there's no Wi-Fi here it's just only Ethernet connection if you want Wi-Fi I think you can just purchase a separate adapter here and you can use it as Wi-Fi but as far as I know this is not popular nobody uses those those days I think but it's interesting so I already unscrewed all those from here and you can see here what do we have we have a card here so in order to actually use this one you need to plug this card inside can you imagine that you need to plug this card right here it's just like authorization for using this one so what do we have here we have the SATA cable right here so it's plugged right to this uh, motherboard and let's actually unscrew those and see what's inside all right so there are just two screws over here can you see like how thick this is this is like this is not made like these those days right now the all the setup boxes are like small ones and don't have stuff like that but here i mean crazy here it is there's a fan there's a hard drive which occupies more than half of this space <laughs> and it's SATA cable right here so you can disconnect I guess actually I'm not sure what about if you can use some other drive is there some firmware actually to stop you using other drive or like you mandatory need to use this one I'm not sure so let's just plug it in and see how it works at least let's not forget about this card over here which must be plugged in order to boot so this is the remote right here and I'm gonna plug the power and see if it works so according to this crazy sound, it seems to be booting up. So why there's no signal? Press the button on the remote. I see some color here, so maybe it's actually booting right now. So it's doing something right now, so I guess it's booting. Let's see. Okay, it's finally booting. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. This looks like cool, I guess, with this wheel like this, with those buttons right here. It also has those legs right here, so you can put on top of something and it's just gonna stay, not like a typical remote. But the booting process takes like a couple of minutes. Who's gonna wait those time, like in these days? I mean, nobody gonna wait for so long. We can see that how much we progressed through those years and then the, those setup boxes made it back in 2007, 2008, 2009 were like really, really crappy ones, I guess. As you can see, so you can control those like this. You can control this list like this. Uh, so influence settings, you can go right here and you just press like middle button, which is not really convenient. I thought there should be like some enter button, but I like this one. System info, advanced settings, yeah, remote settings. What does it? Oh, remote sensitivity. Quite a nice setting over here. So you can control this. Back to settings, network remote. Okay, nothing here back by the way back button is right here so you can go back service quality yeah i mean as i said there is no wi-fi here so you cannot test much advanced network setup that's nice you can yeah, typically you don't see those kind of configurations those days <laughs> much more simple test probably is gonna ping a server or something back to settings my movies and there's like just a couple of movies over here you can play those collections you can select which collections you want so what does the boot voodoo button does it probably goes to main menu no it doesn't do anything all right i'm gonna just turn it off and see what's inside okay so first i'm gonna unplug this cable right here I'm gonna remove this card i don't need this anymore i'm gonna unplug this sata cable from this uh, wow it's kind of hot actually uh, it's hot here but I, I like this fan over here this fan is nice yeah, I can reuse this one for some projects or I don't know bunch of chipsets here 
the Broadcom processor. Yeah, and as you can see, there's even the BIOS uh, battery over here. Let's unplug this one. Let's remove the hard drive from here. I guess those are the ones I need to unscrew. It's a Hitachi hard drive over here. Uh, capacity 250 gigs. It's heavy. It's really heavy in this enclosure. <laughs> It's kind of actually nice to see all those bulky hard drives, no idea, it has some nice feeling. Anyway guys, this is how it works, I am not sure like what exactly to do with this system, this is how it looks like. <laughs> Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. And I think there should be some kind of encrypted file system here, it all should be encrypted. Probably there is no access to this system over here, I don't even want to try quite honestly, it doesn't make any sense, it's so outdated and so worthless, so alright, cheers.